Welcome back to the garage guys. Well, today we've got an interesting video for you. We're going to try and answer some of the questions that we get as far as what do I get when I purchase the plan package? What does it take to build the machine? And what can the machine do? So we're going to try and get those questions all answered today and give you a big overview of the JD's Garage plasma cutter. So here's a page out of the plan package. There's over 70 pages like this in the plan package. It shows all the parts we need. It shows a pictorial uh, process of how the parts go together. We also have full drawings for every part that you need to manufacture. So in this case, this is a leg and um, you cut it to 19 inches long, drill a half inch hole, three inches from the end and one inch from this side. And then the pipe is rotated, it gets a half inch hole at one inch and one inch, and you can see the three dimensional drawing. So we have a drawing like this for every part in the CNC plasma cutter. We also have some of the drawings that are full size. So this is a full size scale drawing for the X axis motor plate. So this um, drawing is to be printed and then uh, cut out and then attached to metal to fabricate this motor plate. Also included in the plan package is a schematic that shows how to do all the wiring as well as a bill of materials that has links on where to buy all the items needed to complete the project. So we're down here in the shop and we have the template cut out. So what we do is we just take a little bit of spray adhesive and we put a little bit on the template, a little bit on the metal, give it a couple seconds to um, to tack up and then we're going to take this and just set it on the metal so it'll tack up it'll stick real nice to the metal and now we've got it on there so we can begin the process now what we do is we take a center punch and the center of every hole is marked so we get the center punch on it and just center punch each hole as we go around the other thing that we do is we'll, for this larger hole, we just have an inch and a half hole saw, and that's the size for that larger hole. So you can pick these up for 5 to $12 just about anywhere. So the important part of this is where the holes are, not necessarily the shape of the outline. Now, we do cut the outline out with an angle grinder. Um, here we drill two holes and then we just use a Dremel tool to cut them off to make that slot. So there's various different ways you could drill more holes and use a file to drill it out. But we're assuming if you're making a plasma cutter, you have some basic um, metal cutting tools around, around or access to. So we were able to cut all of the tubing with just a regular angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. It was very simple to do. We just marked them. And then we marked the holes and drilled the holes just using a very simple drill press. This could be done with a hand drill as well. So it was a very easy process to drill out the holes and cut the tubing for the plasma cutter. One of the crucial parts to this machine are the 3D printed parts. Um, if you do need a 3D printer to complete this project, if you don't have one, we do supply the parts, the 3D printed parts for this project. So we currently use Fusion 360, the free version, to do all of our parts drawings. Uh, we do the drawings, create the tool pass, uh, post-process it, and send it to the G-code sender. So we made these shock tabs for a cross cart that we did, and it took a little geometry to get this to work out, and this is something we probably couldn't have fabbed by hand with cardboard templates. It just wasn't going to work out and get the same angle to match up with the tubing of the cross cart that we needed it to match up with. It just wouldn't have worked trying to make templates. 
We've got the angle finder set on that bar that sets our seven and a half degree caster. So it pops into here. And then if we measure, we're hoping for 90 degrees on top of that. So we're very close, we're within a half a degree. to build this machine was so we can make parts like this. We take a look. We made that part and it's an engine mount for the trike kits that we that we sell. So we put these bend lines in here to make this piece. Turned out real nice. You can see very little slag on here. But what happens is we take that and with those bend lines, with the bend lines we can bend it and then we can just run beads in here and we get a nice strong engine mount. So another reason to have a plasma cutter, it's an easy, easy to make fab, to do fab work. Makes your life so much simpler uh, to do jobs like this. So far in most of the stuff we've shown today, these are practical things that we use in uh, different builds, different things we have going on. Some of the other things we've done is we've done some a little bit of sign work. You know, we've imported logos cut them out and did some sign work for some people so it, it's this machine is completely versatile to do anything you want it to do so another thing we can do with the jd's garage plasma cutter is we can make a template out of cardboard sometimes this is the easiest way when doing fab work is just to make the template and we can take a picture of it scan it into fusion and then once we get it into fusion We'll just trace it real fast. We'll, we'll trace the flat line on the bottom. We'll switch over to a uh, curved line and put some points in as we trace it around. And then once we get to the circles, we know what size the circles are, whether they're half inch, quarter inch, you know, three quarters of an inch. We'll just draw the circles to the right size and move it over top of the template. So once we do that, we create the G code, send it to the plasma cutter. So we're out here at the machine. We've got the uh, program loaded in for the cardboard template that we're going to produce. So we've created the tool pass. It's time to hit go and create this job. Well, there you have it guys uh, to go from a cardboard template to a piece of steel with the JD's garage uh, plasma cutter it's as simple as that so you can see how we're lined up perfectly right there it was very simple to make it by cardboard and put it on the computer and send the G code so another advantage to this plasma cutter Another feature of the JD's Garage Plasma Cutter is the tube notching or the rotary axis. So we designed this in a fashion to be able to notch tubes to any angle. We also did it where we can plasma cut out shapes, designs, words in round tubing. It's been a valuable asset to us and the way we process metal. Well guys, thanks a lot for sticking around at the end of the video. Uh, we hope this explains some of the questions we get about how hard is it to make? What can the plasma cutter do? Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching.